Welcome to Inside the Huddle. Mike Joseph here for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. Big win on Saturday for Lafayette. They came back from uh, a deficit and won the game against Wagner going away. Drew Reed was fantastic. But today, we're going to talk about the Fordham Rams. And Fordham is one of the best teams, not only in the Patriot League, but in the entire country, depending on where you look, ranked 13th or 15th. It starts with a great running game for them, and it starts with Chase Edmonds back here and Kevin Anderson. You must stop the run. Well, how do you do that? Stopping the run is basically talking about how many guys you're going to put in the box. So let's talk about in the box. In the box is basically tackle to tackle. It's inside. Obviously, our six players inside, and there are six blockers up front. You add a player to stop the run. You can subtract the player when you need to play pass defense. So how does Lafayette do it? Well, you can get the weak safety coming down inside and create that eight-man front, which adds the striker as well. So there's an eight-man front. So you have eight basically on seven, and that allows you to get an extra man to the ball. You can also drop the strong safety in, roll the weak safety to the middle third, so by sliding those backers over. So a couple different ways to create different guys in the box and create that eight-man front. So very important to stop 22 right here. He's a great ball receiver out of the backfield, and he also obviously runs the ball between the tackles in the box. So when someone says, how many players are in the box? Well, you want to add guys to stop the run. Okay, when we get to a pass defense, you may see this, changing fronts. And Lafayette may have to do this depending on what we call D&D, &D, down and distance. If you get into a second and long, and Lafayette's defense hasn't created a lot of them, but they've been better lately, third and long, second and nine, those situations, you may see Lafayette in the box go with a little bit more three-man front. Allows you, to, allows you maybe to add an extra linebacker and gives you some different looks in here if you want to twist and bring a little bit of pressure, confusing the offensive line. Well, on the back side of the three-man, what it does do, it allows a linebacker with a little bit better matchup on a running back. Okay, if you create a linebacker to the field and say a trip set here, that linebacker against that inside slot is a little bit of a mismatch. So by bringing, leaving the striker there and sliding the linebackers over in that 3-3, you create a little bit better matchup for that linebacker on the back side. And by using a safety on the front side, creates a little bit better matchup here. So kills two birds with one stone. So look for Lafayette this week to create more men in the box to create second and longs and third and longs. When they get to that point, they're creating an eight-man front or seven-man front. On the other side, changing the fronts a little bit. So Lafayette may go to some three-man looks up front, okay? And then creating some different looks with Brandon Bryant, guys that can make plays in the backfield. Very important for Lafayette to stop number 22. He runs their offense, everything comes off of him. Gotta stop him first, then play pass defense. We'll see you Saturday night, six o'clock.